Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan has decided to scrap new coal-based power plants in favor of clean energy. His government also plans to reduce fossil fuel emissions by adding electric vehicles by 2030 and plant billions of trees in the next three years. We have decided, firstly, that we will uh, have nature-based solutions to mitigate the effects of climate change. First, by planting uh, 10 billion trees in the next three years. Secondly, uh, we have increased the number of national parks, protected areas, from 30 to 45. At the same time, we have decided that we will not have any more power based on coal. We have already scrapped two coal power projects, which were supposed to produce 2,600 megawatts of energy and replaced it by hydroelectricity. Khan's advisor on climate change, Malik Amin Aslam, tells Matrix Mag the plan. Be ambitious, but Pakistan is committed to reduce fossil fuel emissions as possible and shift to renewable energy. That Pakistan, with the political commitment that we have towards green development at the moment, we would be able to pull it off. Uh, and I will. Uh, I think that you know the vision that the Prime Minister has given is very clear. It's uh, based on two premises. One is that we want to move towards nature-based solutions uh, for sequestering carbon. We already have two very big projects uh, which are ongoing on ground. They are the 10 billion tree tsunami in which we are pl uh, planting uh, trees all over Pakistan which uh, sequester carbon. The other one is the protected area initiative which is expanding the area that we protect in Pakistan from 12 to 15 percent. Again, that is a, a project which, uh, because it protects nature, it allows uh, nature to absorb carbon uh, in those areas. So these are the two main nature-based solutions and those are already on ground. The funding is there and we are already uh, undertaking them. On the energy side, the Prime Minister uh, took a very bold decision. And this is in spite of the fact that our global emissions are less than 1% of the global emissions. But yet we are uh, the fifth most vulnerable country to climate change. Even uh, despite this fact uh, that we are you know, on the wrong side of climate injustice, uh, the Prime Minister has stepped up uh, his ambition on climate change because we want to be a responsible country which is uh, not only worried about Pakistan but also the, uh, the global community and the global climate change issue. So that vision is based on the target of uh, shifting 60% of our energy mix towards clean energy which includes hydro, uh, wind and solar by 2030. It also includes the policy of scrapping uh, coal projects in Pakistan. Uh, the only projects that we will use will be based on indigenous coal now and that also if the, the technology for coal gasification or coal liquefaction is, uh, is usable because that is something which has a low uh, carbon footprint. Uh, so that's a very bold decision and we've already uh, shown our commitment by scrapping two very big projects uh, in Rahim Yar Khan and Muzaffar Ghat, which were already signed off and we have shelved those projects uh, worth uh, 2600 megawatts and shifted to hydro projects worth 3700 uh, megawatts. So that is a clear indication that the government is not just uh, talking but also walking the talk. In addition to that, we have also targeted uh, the electric uh, transition which, which is happening all over the world also and we want Pakistan to leapfrog into that technology and to sh shift towards electric vehicles. At least 30% of our new vehicles by 10, 2030 should be electric vehicles. For that, uh, we are coming out with a very clear policy which has got incentives for electric vehicles and for electric vehicle manufacturers who can shift to Pakistan uh, and make these vehicles uh, uh, right and drive vehicles for Pakistan as well as for export. Uh, so uh, Pakistan's uh, announcements uh, on energy and the nature-based solutions are not just announcements, but they are backed by policies, by projects, and by on-ground activity. The two coal-fired projects that have been scrapped were part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. Will the move not upset the Chinese companies, which were supposed to construct the coal power plants? Well, if you look at the global climate uh, platform at the moment, China is the country which is taking the biggest leadership role uh, uh, on global climate change. Within China, they have changed their uh, whole development paradigm towards a green paradigm and they call it e uh, the era of eco-civilization. This includes heavy reliance on clean energy and moving towards uh, you know, expanding their green areas. So what Pakistan is doing in Pakistan, China is also doing in China. So I think this would further cement the 
relationship between Pakistan and China because it would cement uh, the vision of the two leaders, President Xi and Prime Minister Imran Khan. Yesterday when the Prime Minister spoke, there were 10 leaders who were chosen from amongst the 75 global leaders to speak in the opening session. And President Xi spoke in the opening session and so did Prime Minister Imran Khan. So I think there is actually a confluence of, uh, of visions over here. And I think the CPAC, which is the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, our vision is to make it the China-Pakistan Green Economic Corridor.